I'm Namrata Kupchandani, a PM with the Microsoft 365 team here, and we work on creating platforms and opportunities for our developers to integrate their solutions and apps with Microsoft 365. Joining me on the call are my colleagues Vikrant, again from the Microsoft PM team, and Ashish from our engineering team, and together we'll try to answer any questions from you on this today. What I'll be talking to you about today is how you can extend your existing search message extensions in Teams to Outlook. If you were with us in last year's Build and Ignite sessions, this was previously announced there and uh, might be a bit of a refresher, but if not, I'm here to cover this in detail today. So let's dive right into the agenda. I'll be focusing on four key topics, starting with an overview of what message extensions are, then moving on to our vision of bringing the search-based message extensions to Outlook, and finally talking about how you can bring your search message extensions to Outlook with a demo. Let's get started on the first key point. I'm sure most of us are familiar and um, have probably even created message extensions in Teams, uh, but I would like to start off by talking a little about what message extensions are for anyone who's not had a chance to work very closely with them yet. So message extensions in Teams today enable you to bring your app content and interactions right within Teams chat and conversations providing seamless and connected experiences to our mutual users. These can be of two different types. The first one being search message extension that allows our users to search external systems and find information and insert that content in the form of rich cards. And the second being action message extension that allows you to present users with um, a model pop-up of sorts that can collect or display information, process that interaction with the user, and finally send that back to Teams in the form of rich actionable cards. Before we get into how we're extending the search-based message extension capability to Outlook, let's also take a quick example and understand what are the kind of scenarios that search-based message extension light up in Teams today. So we'll consider a simple fictitious um, app from the Northwind company. It's an order management app that, uh, as you can see on the right side, allows its users to search for orders and share details to collaborate within and outside their teams. So as you can see in the first screen on the top, the user is pulling up the Northwind search message extension integration, searching for a particular order to share the details with, um, with his colleague. And given that our users are spending so much time within Teams collaborating and working through their day, this message extension is making it extremely easy for them to get work done in context without leaving Teams. Now, moving on to our vision um, of building a single simplified and unified app ecosystem within Microsoft 365. And as part of that vision, we're bringing search message extensions to Outlook. Now, what does that mean for all of us here? So what it means is we will be able to extend your existing search-based message extension integrations in Teams to Outlook with just minimal, simple configurational settings. This will allow you to engage more users outside of Teams with your same message extension solution, essentially allowing you to build the solution once and deploy it to Outlook as well. As you can see again on the right side of my screen, the same Northwind message extension that we saw in Teams on the earlier slide is brought to Outlook, and the user can search for the same order and share it on email to collaborate with maybe external partners or teams, allowing the same seamless content sharing experience brought to Outlook and making it easier for them to collaborate across other touch points in Microsoft 365 as well. Before I get into what steps you need to do to follow and enable this search message extension in Outlook, I want to share that we are already in public preview, public developer preview for this feature, and our users in the targeted release in Outlook for Web or the preview channels for Outlook for Windows can already play with this experience today. Now let me shift gears and get into how you can achieve this for your existing search-based message extensions with a few simple steps. 
The first one being updating your app manifest to the M365 dev preview. You can do this manually or even using the Teams toolkit. That's step one. Step two is adding an Outlook channel for your bot. And again, this can be done through the Azure portal or even through the bot framework portal if you've previously registered there. And that's all it takes. You can then sideload your updated app in Teams and that should do it in um, lighting that experience up in Outlook as well. So all of these steps I will be covering in uh, a demo in my environment as well. But before we get into that, I just want to call out that I've listed a few prerequisites for you to be able to try this with your search message extensions. And we'll share the link to a document that gives all of this information in detail towards the end as well. Let's now look at um, a quick demo that puts those three steps that we saw into action. And I'll show you what I did in my environment to take my search based message extensions and teams and extend that to Outlook with the same process. So I've recorded a quick working demo and let me play that for you. So here's my team's environment and the Northwind order management app. I am going to use that to search for an order and insert the content in the form of a card to share all the relevant details with my league who was just following up on this order with me. That's essentially how it works in Teams today. Let me now switch over and show you. In my Visual Studio environment, I'm going to make the first step change, that is replace the existing manifest version to M365 Dev Preview. And I'm going to zip all of these together to create the new app package, which would then be ready for me to um, say hello to Teams. That should do it. Now on step two, let's move over to the Azure portal. As you can see, uh, for my message extension, it is working in Teams, so I have the Teams channel naturally added here. And I'm going to scroll down and add Outlook. So I'll switch over to the message extensions developer preview tab. Let me go ahead and um, apply those changes. Okay, let's uh, make sure it's reflecting real quick. Okay, there it is. Now let's switch over and silo that um, updated package with the updated uh, manifest version that we created in depth. Okay, that's our twin app. And let's go ahead and deploy it to um, Teams. And yes, that should do it. So next I'll switch over to uh, my Outlook for Web and show you how that same twin search message extension will reflect here. So I'm composing a new email to my delivery partner and I want to follow up on the same order, check the status. And our message extension, the North one, should service now an email as well. I'm going to go ahead and um, search for the same order that I did earlier. That's the result. And that's my card inserted in to share in email context as well. So essentially, my search based message extension is now lighting up in Outlook all through just simple configurational settings. So that was a quick um, demo and hopefully that interests you in trying out your search based message extension in Outlook as well. I would also like to quickly summarize what's already available in public preview and what's coming soon. So essentially the uh, search based message extension that we saw in uh, my Outlook for Web. This is something we have in public preview both for Outlook for Web and Outlook for Windows. And as I touched upon earlier, our users who are enrolled in the targeted release program can play around with these today. Just talking a little about what we are bringing next for public preview. We'll be adding link unfurling support for these search message extensions in Outlook. So the users will now be able to uh, paste a link to invoke the same message extension if it supports it and then add essentially the same rich cards as a preview to those links. We are also adding support for consume scenarios 
for search message extension cards that would be received on mobile clients. So that's also something you should um, you should look forward to. We also want to um, call out one very, very critical thing. I think Brian mentioned it earlier, but just echoing it again. Uh, we recommend that you register for build and look forward to more such um, new announcements for search message extensions coming to Outlook. We plan to cover more in-depth sessions, share further examples and more useful resources. So we'll really look forward to seeing you there. I would also like to cover um, two quick links, which I believe will be very useful um, for the group. The first one is the, the documentation around how you can extend your search message extension to Outlook. So essentially the three steps that I covered um, earlier and in the demo, these are you know, outlined in more detail. And the second link is the aka.ms slash VS Teams toolkit. So uh, leaving those for you and we'll try to um, share those um, offline as well. In case of any questions or support needed beyond this, uh, we are more than happy to um, answer and, and be available. So you can reach out to me at my email address that you see there, namrataki at microsoft.com, and we would be happy to take any, any further questions. And finally, before I hand off back to Brian, I also want to thank our community members for their continuous engagement and feedback through this all. Uh, we couldn't possibly achieve all this without you. So really, thank you. Thank you so much for that presentation, Namrata. Uh, excellent. I will say that was by far the best transition I've seen going from live presentation to the video and then right back into your slides. Uh, if I didn't know better, I would not have known there was actually a video uh, planned in there. So thank you so much for sharing all this is great information. Uh, and echoing thank again, you, please, please do register for Microsoft Build. We look forward to seeing folks there, joining the sessions, joining the consultations, all the other different community events that are going on. Thank you.